FNCC, uh, Florida Nature and Culture Center, yes. Soka Gaika International, United States of America, Western Florida. And I'm here with Bland Charles, who has a YouTube channel that you need to check out, who shares remarkable stories and achievements that inspire one's heart to advance their daily life. Yes. So, Mr. Charles. Yes. Mrs. Charles, oh, your pronoun? Pronouns are they and them. They and them. Mm -hmm. So please proceed. Just tell us a little bit about yourself and your... uh, Well, thank you for giving me that plug or the, for the life of being a fiercely empowered uh, video. Uh, that's my vlog I've been doing every day since January, uh, July uh, 31st, 2015, which is the last blue moon before the one we had in August this month. Um, and I'm committed to that vlog because not only does it help keep me on track, but uh, my viewers uh, comment that, you know, it keeps them, um, it keeps their hopes and dreams alive. It keeps them, um, it gives them hope that we can make a difference. Because if you look at the world today, it's very easy to just say, why bother? You know what I'm saying? And I think that we all can own the power of our... Martin Luther King was one person. Daisaku Ikeda was one person. Gandhi was one person. We all were the same person, right? You're Gandhi. Mm -hmm. I'm, Mike, I'm Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. That's like, you know, so like we have to own the fact that we're no different than these, these powerful people. It's just that we have to decide to pick up the baton and run with it. We have to decide. We can complain, we can sit and go, oh, but this is not, I don't have this, I don't have that, I don't have a lot of money. I don't know, you know. Get rid of the excuses, just pick up the pot, baton and run with it. Yeah, and when you say that, for me, it kind of represents the patterns of thoughts that I want to have going forward of always having appreciation. Mm -hmm. And I believe that there's so much that when one decides to think about what it is that they have, mm. you can, it's infinite, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, from the moment that you wake up to the moment you go right, to sleep, right. there's generally clothes on your back, mm -hmm. there's food in your stomach, mm -hmm. and you got a means of moving other than walking. Right. And there's so much that we have in our lives. And of course, our society wants to tell us everything we don't have, mm -hmm and they want us to have what they want to sell us. You know what, you want to know what, what I tell people when they ask me, so how you doing, or, or how do you feel, how's your day? You want to know what I tell them? What's your response? My response is, one, number one, I got out of bed. Number two, I'm sorry, number one, I woke up. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Wait, number one, I woke up. <laughs> yeah. Number two, I got out of bed. <laughs> there so you go. My day is already victorious. Mm -hmm. Right there, mm -hmm. boom. So it can, only get, it can only go up, you know what I mean? So, and people, People will go, you know, people aren't used to that response. People are just used to people saying, oh, okay, it's great. You, people say what they think people want to hear. Exactly. And I say what I say, what I think will inspire, not what people want to hear, what will inspire people. Yeah. My response is that I generally say, and people that know me, awesome and amazing. I love it. Mediumly well. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, That's it's great. not. It's not in between. It's not bad. It's not great. But it's it's in Buddhism. This is a term called the middle way. Right. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, Bland, uh, you have a, a fashion statement. You are a bold individual. You are one that being your true self, despite what any society rules or whatever people want to label you, mm -hmm. criticize you. And ladies and gentlemen, I think you have to appreciate the fact that it's okay to be yourself. Mm -hmm. And I really admire that about you because it takes a whole lot of boldness, a whole lot of everything to do it. But it wasn't an easy journey for you. Uh, 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 uh. So can you just tell us a little bit briefly? I know it's a long, long journey, journey, right? but just like, and, and I think it probably changes day to day. How yeah, you, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I just, I just turned 60, December 8th, 1962 is my birthday. Um, and I think that I feel like I'm getting better the older I get. I'm also getting more uh, convinced that living your truth, when you live your truth, that your environment will respond to that. Yes, I walk into a room and I might get funny looks, but by the time I leave that room, I've touched and inspired and moved people's hearts. I've, uh, you, we, have to, we have to be comfortable in the uncomfortable. We have to be, 
we have to find a way to be comfortable in the uncomfortable, meaning that we have to be willing to put ourselves in places that we do not normally want to put ourselves. You know what I'm saying? As a black, non-binary, gender fluid person, I'm the first um, board member for Callum Lord, which is a health organization specifically geared to providing stellar um, health care and mental health, mental and health care to the LGBTQIA plus community. I'm the first non-binary um, gender fluid African-American person to sit on the board. And I've been asked back to sit on the board again for another three years. Why is that? Because I'm not afraid to put myself in the room or not, I'm not afraid to put myself in a uncomfortable place mm. um stepping into a room um full of white men mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. heterosexual white men probably mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. and 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 no and not flinching not flinching a bit a bit like knowing that i belong in that room you know and when you when you walk through life with that attitude when you're clear this, this is something that was said at the conference yesterday when you're clear on your value you are free remember that when, when you're clear, clear on your value, your value you're, you're free. free. That was said yesterday. The other thing that was said, um, there's a difference between knowing and believing, you know? Mm -hmm. There's a difference between wanting to do something and doing it. You know what I mean? Like, so, yes, you can be told that you're great and you're making a percent and that, you know, you have something to offer to the world, but then what are you doing with that knowledge, right? Are you acting on it or are you just sitting on it? And a lot of us are sitting on it. You know what I'm saying? It's not what you know, it's what you do. do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's the actions you take. Yeah. And you know, Blaine, we get courage through our faith practice and study of Nichiren Dashona's Buddhism, Buddhism chanting, yes. Namio Ringeko, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. And um, I think when we exercise that courage, it becomes, well, we become stronger and we're able to use it more, advancing. Mm -hmm. Could you just tell me a little bit, how did you get this courage to be able to uh, find your own voice, might not to maybe find your own voice, to use your, your own, own voice, voice. Right, to use your right, own voice right, right. to step out there. How, well, do, do you well have I have, a, let's say, let's, let's, uh, let's face it, we have an excellent mentor, right? That's how we cater. He's showing us the way, right? And he's not no getting doubt. any younger. No doubt. I mean, this man, you know that the, this vlog that I've done, like over 2,290 vlogs. 2,000, let me read, 2,290. Consecutive days. Consecutive days. That of was July. Oh, yeah, that was July. I don't know now because I haven't counted. But I'm just the point I'm making is that I mean, it's started, only 365 days a year. So no, no, no. I've been doing it eight years every day. Eight years, <laughs> eight years every day. Let me share this with this one earlier. And I was like, I got to sit down and talk to this. <laughs> Please proceed. I guess. But my inspiration is Daisaku Ikeda has been writing peace proposals to the UN since 1983. So he's written over 40 peace proposals, 40 years consecutively, okay? He was told when he was 19 that he wouldn't live to 30 because he had tuberculosis. He also came to Guam two years before I was born. I was born in 62, he came to Guam in 1960 to, to bring this wonderful philosophy to America. And because of that one action, we have now people practicing this wonderful Nutrient Daishon and Buddhism in over 192 countries and territories in the world. So that means that on the hour, every hour, someone in the world is chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo for their happiness, the happiness of others and world peace. I mean, when I say that to people, I get goosebumps every time. I mean, that's very powerful. One person came and was the, was the ripple, right? That ripple kept, yeah. Isn't and that something? That is remarkable. It is remarkable, especially when we take the time to like look at what has occurred. Mm -hmm. And I've always kind of felt this way. It's like just a short amount of time. Like you said, 1960. And this is merely what? The only... My, my, math, is my, th my math is off too. <laughs> yeah. Less than 50 years. Right, right. Around 50 years. Yeah. Um, that this movement has been taking place. And... Um, it's just remarkable of what Nami Ringe could do, mm. practice within the Soka Gaikai, I must say that, the so mm -hmm. right, right, right. that is changing lives. And we're here in Western Florida on this beautiful uh, campus with all the amenities one could think mm. of. Food has been fantastic, housing. Gourmet chefs, good. like quality five-star um, accommodations. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it, 
I, one of the things that I think is important for us to do every day on a daily basis is take inventory. When I say take inventory, I mean take inventory, uh, self-reflect and take inventory on what actions you're taking to make a difference. Now, that's two reasons we want to take inventory. One, so we can acknowledge, back to that point about taking inventory, that I think it's really important for us to take inventory every day of our lives. There's two reasons why I think that's important. One is so, so you can acknowledge what you have done. Because I think that when I gave my experience yesterday here at the conference, writing that experience was very writing that experience was very therapeutic for me because I I'm I'm one of those persons that's very self-deprecating and like, oh I haven't done enough and I'm not doing enough mm. and mm -hmm. you know, I'm not making a difference. And when I wrote that experience, it was like, whoa, I did all that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So taking inventory of what you, when you take inventory every day, you see what you're doing and you can pat yourself on the back for that. But also taking inventory, you can see what you're not doing, what you need to do. So it's a wake up call, but it's also a, a, a reaffirm, a reaffirming, you know what I mean? Like a reaffirming of what you, what you have done. You know what I mean? What you have done. Yeah. So now this inventory you're taking, is this something that happens at the end of the day? No. Well, I, well, we, okay. So, you know, as the Eastern Daishan and Buddhists, we um, do morning and evening Ganyo. Mm -hmm. So morning, we do morning, morning Ganyo to set the tone for the day, set our intention for the day. And then we do evening Ganyo in reflection of that day that we just had gratitude for that day, no matter what, because that day was an opportunity for us to do our human revolution. So right. it could be a good day, whatever that means, quote unquote, mm -hmm. good or bad day. But it was a day, right? Right. It was a day. We had another 24 hours to make a difference. Mm -hmm. I'd like to do my inventory in the evening mm -hmm. when I get home. Mm -hmm. Self-reflect. Okay, so what what I do today? What, what happened today? And I have a journal, so I write down everything. Mm -hmm. So it's very, I'm very um, detail-oriented. Yeah. I When I share this practice with other people, I, I can tell you last week on Wednesday, the names of the people I shared this practice with, the time, where, and something about them, mm. either where they're from, mm -hmm. their Instagram handle, phone number. Mm. And I, Chaco Book, would probably, I've shared this practice now with probably over 1,100 people this year so far. Wow. 1,100 And I can people. tell you that's every, I can account for every one of those 1,100. Well, that's quite an inventory. Very, impressive. Isn't it? very impressive. Mm -hmm. Now, the impressive thing that you told me too, that you're logging every day and you write your scripts out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and anybody knows and watches this channel, your boy here just shoots off the hip, right? <laughs> they oh, got nothing written down. Let's let's share with them. Okay, so this is another thing. We create our own walls, we create our own we get we we, we create our own blockage. So for me I've always had this idea this this uh, how can I say that? First of all, being at this conference for the first time is also stepping out of my comfort zone because I always thought mm -hmm. all my persecution growing up as a black gay non-binary was from my own community. I, I'm, I had a brick thrown at me. I almost had my lost my left eye. Um, slurs walking down the street, faggot, body, my, body con, whatever. And so I'm on the train, and, uh, and that's another reason why I never. Jamaica is not on my list of places to visit because I they have a reputation of not being very gay friendly. But again, it's like. I, me saying that I'm doing the thing that I fighting against. I'm generalizing and grouping people the same way that people do that to us as a gay or like, you know, mm -hmm. to be, so all, judging. Right. So I'm just saying to say that I have to catch myself. So I'm on the train. Sometimes I have to write my script on the train on the way to work because I'm like pressed for time. And a Jamaican man is sitting across from me and he looks at me and I, I immediately I'm thinking that he's going to say something negative and he's looking at me in a negative way. Mm -hmm. And he says, hey, aren't you that guy that does a YouTube channel? And I was like, and I was like, I, you know, hesitated. I was like, what, what's YouTube channel? He says, life, living it fiercely empowered. I was just like, blown away. <laughs> oh, wow. That was How such a, re that? right, that was such a reality check for oh. me because it's like, it just blew away all my, it just blew away all my, you know, misconceptions. Such a, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And then we were, having a, we were able to have a great dialogue. He told me, he told me that, um, my vlog inspired him and put a smile on his face every day, and that just meant the world to me. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, well, that's a great way to conclude. Thank you so <laughs> much, man. It's not thank you so much. Thank you. I, mean, I know you said, man, <laughs> man, man Look, Blaine Charles, Blaine Charles. Thank you, Blaine Charles. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, we got this done. And uh,